Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. I've got a very special one for you today. We're looking at a game called Antichamber by Alexander Bruce, and this is one that I've been really, really excited to be able to show you guys, and one that in fact as soon as I got the review copy of it, I like I couldn't wait to want to actually play it. I've been following this one for a good year or so, and every single time I've seen any footage of it or anything at all of it, it's been like the exact thing that I look for uh, for the show, so really happy to actually get to play it. And if you don't know what it is, it's like an abstract exploration slash puzzle game uh, that apparently will really screw with your head, and I think that's been the consistent element that I've heard from everyone uh, that's played this. They have all admitted that their head was definitely screwed with, so uh, let's take a look. This is the very first thing you see when you start the game. A completely black screen with some tiles, and I don't know what this up is up in the corner. It made me think of like an egg. Oh no, it's a fetus in the womb. Okay, so that's us, I guess, where <laughs> we have yet to be born. And when you turn to the right, you're wondering, where's the menu? Oh, there it is. And there's also a kind of a creepy timer ticking down in the right corner there. Click here to delete your save game and restart. So that is interesting. Uh, it's very rare that you see a game where the menu is actually integrated into the gameplay itself, so very cool. And I think that's fairly typical. Choose your destination, click here. Oh, I clicked. Whoa, that's pretty wild. That looks like something from Zelda. So I don't even know how this is going to start, but I think that's partially what's so cool about this game, is that it's fairly unpredictable. And I don't know much of anything about what's going to happen throughout this game. There's freaking beautiful colors. What's at the bottom, though? Oh, it looks like more colors. So it wants me to jump. I'm going to try this. I don't think I'm going to succeed, but let's see. No, didn't think so. That's really pretty. So the developer expressed quite a bit of reticence about me playing too much of this, because basically every bit of this you see is going to color... Oh, failing to succeed does not mean failing to progress. Okay, fair enough. It's going to color your opinion of the game, or maybe your uh, will to figure things out on your own. So I, you know, I'm going to try not to make this too long of an episode, but I do want to at least show off the beginning and give a little bit of the vibe of what we might express or might expect to see in Antichamber here. Click here. Some paths are clearer than others. All right. Oh, is this the place from the trailer? I think it may be. Yep. <clears throat> so we pick either red or blue. I feel like I'm looking at 3D glasses right now. And if we want to be true to the trailer, we would go down, and then we would go up, and then we would go down. We're not going to do that, though. We're just going to go one way. <clears throat> Some reason going up always seems like the better option for me. A choice may be as simple as going left to right, and look where we are. So is it the same staircase? It is. Alright, so we can keep going one way or the other. It is definitely different. The choice doesn't matter if the outcome is the same. The choice may be as simple as going left or right. So I think what it's trying to tell me is I gotta pick the same one a couple times in a row or it's not gonna stick. I have a feeling we're going through one of those loops. They don't seem to want me to go that way. And you know what I'm starting to realize? Yeah, that's what I figured. Sorry, I didn't want to spoil that for you, but I had a feeling. Uh, when you return to where you've been, things aren't always as remembered. That is true. So we're actually going to make some cogent points about life throughout. Oh, I had a feeling we were going to repeat the same pattern here. Man, those colors are so vivid and pretty. I'm always amazed by what developers can do with a very sparse visual theme when it's used very effectively, and I would say so far this is absolutely that. Is that a laser? Trip line or some type of thing? Oh look, it turned pink when I walked through it. Then it closed. Can I, I can't open it again, I'm stuck. So I don't even know if this was necessarily the only way I could go. Some choices leave us running around a lot without really getting anywhere. Alright, I pressed escape. If you didn't like where you ended up, try doing something else. That's fair. Oh, okay, so these seem to be 
points that I can... Every journey is a series of choices, the first to begin the journey. So I can collect these, I suppose, and I'm, I'm guessing we're probably going to fill up most of this whole board with different ones. Oh, it's beckoning me in this direction? Oh, I can't walk through here, though. I mean, probably a fairly obvious uh, comparison, but I am getting that little bit of a portally feeling. Scientific, you know, sterile-looking chambers. Go here again. Jump too far. Alright, so each one of these points seems to be labeled to some extent. You can go back to the jump. I didn't go this way, though. And part of the package here is, uh, of course, excellent sound design. Uh, you know, a game like this I generally find can't really succeed unless it has the whole package of, you know, visual presentation, uh, something interesting to think about or do, and then, of course, the sound design. I feel like this is definitely that. Uh, definitely engaging on pretty much every front. I don't think I'm going to get over that. Can I... Oh, yeah, I made it up. So there's a little bit of an, uh, maybe a Metroidvania element, too, exploring through all of this. I'm not sure if that's the right label, but hopefully you get what I mean by that, that there's uh, a little bit of a branching path type of scenario going on, and uh, encouragement to explore. This says it's the end. I can't go through, though. I mean, look at that. That's so pretty. And it's so bold, too. Like, artistically, almost... I would imagine most of the screenshots you could take from this could probably stand on their on their own as uh, pictures you could hang on a wall. You know, if you're into that, I'm sure not everybody is. But personally, this is the kind of art that I like. So it's exciting to be able to walk around through it, and I, I feel like I'm going through a repetitive path here, which maybe is not the right thing to do, but I'm still going to do it anyway, I suppose. So is there a different path I can take through this situation, maybe? I'm also not sure how many times you have to go through this before you have to turn around. I'm going to say three. No. And if the video leaves you wanting, and you want to see a little bit more, like, diversity in how the game is played, uh, definitely check out the trailer on the Steam page, and by the time this video goes up, uh, this will be for sale. So you will be able to go partake of some of this beautiful exploration on your own. Also wondering if there is a... Oh, okay, it just keeps going, huh? Now what if I go back? Same thing, huh? Alright, that's fair. I used to make spaces like this in uh, Marathon had a map editor that used uh, Forge and Anvil for it, and it was really interesting how you could lay the vertices over each other and just keep stacking on two-dimensional, like, identities as long as there was a linear path. So that's sort of a similar thing. Alright, so that didn't really take us anywhere, that just was, uh, back to the same spot again. I don't want to go through this. I don't know if you can see, but there's a very light I uh, like grid in front of this that looks like maybe some glass. It's almost undetectable though, like the opacity on it is super, super low. There's a, you can see the little lines anyway, I'm not sure why you care about that. Alright, so let's go back to a jump too far, but this time let's see if we can hit... Oh, I didn't mean to land there. I want to actually be at the top this time. I'm going to get over the pit to the other side where that... Alright, we can just go back. Nice transition. Right, let's jump back to this part, and this time we want to go, what is it, right, I think? Or no, in? I think I went across, oh, that didn't happen before. Walk. Look at that, it's appearing right before us. Very nice. I definitely want to know what's up with that eye picture over there, I really like that. Yeah, we're learning our first steps here. I think the first step can be harder than the rest of the challenge. Didn't it say jump before? I think it did. That would be the messing with your head part. Oh no! I don't know what just happened. I think I fell through the ground. 
Can I go through anything here? What's this doing? When I step on this, it bounces. Okay. I get it. We gotta fling ourselves by timing this better. And I actually got back out, which I didn't expect to do. I'm not sure if I actually want to maybe go down at the bottom of that and check out what's going on there. And I believe I might also be able to use those as steps, those little edges around the sides. Oh. WTF, mate. I don't know. Is that the walls are all water? Oh no. I've fallen again. Things don't seem to want to support my weight very much. Oh, this guy's taking his thumb off. That's an old magic trick. Everybody knows that one. What appears impossible may have a very simple answer. And what appears impossible, I don't know yet. There's a bunny. It looks very angry. It looks like a grumpy bunny. How we perceive a problem can change every time we see it. Life? Yeah. Yeah, very, uh, big statement there. The ticking of the clock. That's interesting. <laughs> so hopefully you're getting the picture here. This is, uh, very much a logic puzzle mixed in with a bunch of really beautiful art and some exploration in a very engaging visual package here. Wow, this room is amazing. Everything about this room, I, I love. I don't even know what's going on in here, but it's absolutely beautiful. That thing's a little scary, though. Somebody needs to make a gallery that looks like this. I would pay $100 to go check this out. Wow. I mean, how do you come up with such a consistently unified visual theme? I don't really know how you do it so with such strength and it's so bold. Yeah, I know. I made it through. When you observe your surroundings, you may notice things that you didn't see before. What if I just want to go back out and I don't want to go there yet? Good. Looks like Hitman. Hugging somebody as he stabs them. Oh, this is nice. Great animations on these things. Oh, it's Pong. Oh, that's sad. I say it's sad because of the whole Atari bankruptcy thing. There must have been some kind of lighting technique or some very unifying, interesting thing that the developer came up with to make this look so consistent, because I don't know how to do it. Anyway, hats off to you. Alright, why would that be on multiple faces of this? Alright, yeah, what's in this picture here that's different? Looks like the person dug up something, now has a brick of gold. We gotta find something different, and then I'm not sure what to do about after that. If that's really the case. It's reminding me a little bit of Mist, but in a much, much cooler way. I mean, Mist was great, don't get me wrong, but, like, this seems really more modern and appeals more to my senses as, you know, an art guy. I hear crickets. They're directional, which... I'm playing this with a uh, headset on, by the way, and I probably would recommend that you do the same or any kind of stereo directional stuff that's going on. I thought I saw something over here for a second, but I think it was just weird aliasing on the line. Let me go where the colors are. Oh man, this is confusing already. If you never stop trying, you will get there eventually. That is my hope in life, generally. One day, lift that weight. Is it like the quad damage from Unreal Tournament? 
One of these is going to do something when I walk up to it, isn't it? Can't tell if it's the white one or the black one, though. Some choices leaving, leave us running around in circles. Yeah, absolutely. I love that there's some deeper meaning that goes into this game as well. You know, it's not just pretty, it's not just puzzles. It's got a little bit of everything. I think that came back faster than I expected it to, and I don't think there was actually a hallway that time, maybe. Oh, what have I done? I'm not sure I understand the structure of this circle here. I feel like I got stuck in it longer than could be possible. It might just be that there's multiple things that are trying to mess me up. Or it's teleporting me back. Oh, is it? Yeah, that's what it is. The whole thing changed structure. That's crazy. As we got towards the end, it got more open. That's cool. And I believe we actually came back out the other side. Oh, we got an arrow now. Wants to take us this way. Oh, wow. So I see what the developer was saying now when he said that pretty much everything I do will be sort of spoiling something about the game. And I understand the need to keep that somewhat secret. I think I just have to walk through this without looking. Yeah, that's right. Angry Bear. A few steps backward may keep you from moving forwards. Huh. I don't know what to do about that. Is there something I can see through this? That I couldn't normally... What? Oh man. <laughs> this game really is wild. I don't know what I just did there exactly, but it somehow teleported me through there. I think when I... I used my entire frame of reference through that, that's what made me tr uh, transport through. The world looks different on the other side. Yeah, this really does mess with your head. In a good way. Okay, not all the doors seem to do that. That's fine. And there are other kinds of puzzles as well. Uh, I saw something in the trailer that involved, you know, knocking blocks out of a wall with some sort of gun. Probably not going to get to that point in this video. In fact, this video is probably going to wrap up pretty soon. But I absolutely can't wait to play more of this. And I uh, really appreciate the developer sending me a copy because this is so up my alley, like I can't even tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to do about this either. I guess we'll figure it out eventually. Like, what is this that I'm suspended in over here? Do I want to go through, or do I want to go around? That's probably what's going to make a difference. Oh, I can't even go through. I knew that. I just said that a minute ago. I wonder if something... something must change when I'm standing in this laser. I'm watching for it, I don't see anything though. No, it doesn't look like it on either side. There may just be nothing for me to do at this point. And if that's the case, then perhaps I need to go through to another world, I guess. Yeah, you just gotta look through it for a moment, I guess. Really cool. A window of opportunity can lead to new places if you are willing to take a closer look. Wow. That's kind of terrifying but amazing at the same time. Where are you going? 
it had really cool lighting effects. There's one of those gun things I mentioned before. Oh man. Have you ever seen a game that has this level of, like, intrigue and mystery to it? Everything about it just seems so crazy and, like, unexpected and interesting. Oh. You got some kind of crazy sound. It sounded like a frog, maybe. It's getting darker and darker. I mean, I did a video on this game Trip a long time ago, and this had some similar things to do with that. I know it's super dark, you probably can't see a thing, but I can barely make it out of my monitor. Uh, the video for Trip, I think there were some parallels to this, but this brings all the engaging, like, actual gameplay to it, and Trip was more like a, uh, an art gallery. This is like an art gallery plus. Look a little harder and you'll find a way forward. Failing to succeed does not mean failing to progress. Is this the first? Oh, it totally is. Yeah, this is where you go if you fall to the very bottom of that pit. And now that we've been through the dark room, we can tell that there are... Wow. There are more places to go that I couldn't even notice because of my haste. So cool. Venturing into the unknown can lead to great rewards. Such as perhaps that. Anyway, I think this is a great spot to actually wrap up the episode, just because I, again, really don't want to spoil too much of this absolutely amazing experience. Uh, you know, little wonder why this game got nominated for all these awards. Uh, totally, totally interesting and just really unique. Wow, was that even there before? Is that going to teleport me through to wherever that is? Oh, puts me into the room, doesn't it? I didn't even mean to do that. Anyway, this is going to be it. Antichamber, seriously, check it out. It's going to be on Steam by the time you see this. And now I've got a little bit of a map. And wow, props to the developer for me even being able to make a map. And you've still got an hour and six minutes left to figure out the rest of this puzzle, I suppose. So easily worth the purchase, in my opinion. Oh, some events happen whether we want them to or not. Yeah, I'm feeling that lately, man. But this is definitely a game I'm going to be seeing through to the end. I'm going to probably explore every nook and cranny this thing has to offer. And I highly urge you to do the same if this is the type of thing that you're into. I do acknowledge again that this is probably not for everybody, and I imagine some of these effects might be a little bit, you know, hard to look at if you're, uh, you know, if you have any prone uh, to motion sickness or anything like that. Uh, first person games by themselves can be a little difficult, but when you add in all the crazy colors and wild, you know, perspective changes and falling and things going crazy that you don't quite understand. I imagine that could be difficult. But without going in circles too many times, I do recommend this game highly, so take that for what you will. Uh, definitely very cool. I am so psyched to keep playing this. Uh, I'll leave it at that, though. So, uh, as always, remember to head on over to the website www.indie-impressions.com Check out all the games, old and new, that I've reviewed on the channel. You can sort them by genre, by distribution method. You can check out for the uh, developers just by using the search bar. All kinds of great stuff as well as forums waiting for you on the site there. So feel free to give it a check and see what you like. All kinds of stuff. And then, uh, of course, the Facebook page, facebook.com slash Indie Impressions. If you leave a like on that, you'll get every day's new videos delivered right into your Facebook stream. Makes it nice and convenient for you so you don't have to come looking for them. And then you'll also get uh, any new updates as far as what the channel's doing and uh, the occasional contests, and of course you can meet people through there as well. And lastly, if you're an indie developer and want to send me over a game for a possible video, at Rockley Smile on Twitter is the quickest way, to, quickest way to reach me, and of course I take emails via the contact form right on the website. And uh, that is going to pretty much do it. So Antichamber, guys, go check it out. Links are going to be right in the description, and be sure to come back again tomorrow for another video. I will see you later and have a wonderful night, and please don't get too confused and bewildered by all the colors and shapes. It's, it's very pretty, I understand. Alright, later guys. Take care.